When I got hooked on the opioids, it was a secret that I was holding for a long time because at that time I was in my late 20s and I wanted to protect my reputation, my job. Hey, if I say something, am I going to get fired? So I, I kept it to myself. So it was really difficult to share that. But once I said to myself, I have to be honest and true if I'm really going to help someone else or I'm just being hypocritical. So it was really challenging. How hard is it to live a double life? It's really hard because as a pastor, we stand before our congregants every single Sunday. And a lot of times people don't realize that we're human just like they are. But it was really challenging for me when I was preaching and I was really deep into my addiction. I wasn't trying to get high. I was using just a function. So I'd hit the, the pulpit. I was sweating. I was shaking. I'd put arm cloths in my armpits to keep from sweating. And I was so quick. I would pop it in my mouth real quick, I would get in the pulpit, and I would feel myself starting to withdraw. So before the service, I would lace my cup of grape soda with opioids because I knew that it would hit my system quicker. So when I was preaching and I felt myself starting to get kind of, you know, agitated or I was sweating, I would just take a real quick sip in order to bring myself back because growing up seeking approval, I still wanted people to approve of me and I didn't want to stand up there and get all out of character. So it was really, really a dark day in my life. Mm. And you alluded to this already in terms of with even the very short-term withdrawal and trying to avoid those symptoms. But I understand you went through a pretty difficult withdrawal process in terms of recovering. Absolutely. People use drugs out of curiosity to feel good, to feel better, and to do better. So when I first started out of curiosity, then I transitioned into just wanting to feel good, euphoric. And then I got to a place where I wanted to feel better and my tolerance level started to go up. So when my tolerance level went up, then the withdrawal symptoms kicked in even more. And let me tell you, withdrawal is not something to play with. That's why a lot of people relapse because they can't fight through that three to seven day period of physiological withdrawal. But they can do it. You did it. I yeah. did it. You did it, and it they can do it, it too, it, right? I did it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And I, and I know part of this, this remarkable journey for you was a process of forgiveness. Absolutely. Especially with your wife, uh, family, and your inner self. Doctor, she's, I'm still trying to get her forgiveness today, nine years later. But my wife and I are in a great place because we're transparent now, and I met her in Harlem, New York when I was up preaching. I fell in love right from the pulpit. And, uh, and, and so I really, uh, it hurt me to have to put her through that. And when I shared it with her, because it was a secret to my wife, I didn't tell her, she didn't leave me, she left my behavior. So when she forgave me, I had to forgive myself. And that was the hardest part, the guilt, the shame, the remorse, to thine own self be true. So when I made peace with my past, everything around me started to work out a little bit better. How do you feel like sharing your story has impacted other faith leaders? Have you had people approach you or discuss it with you? I've had preachers call. I've had CEOs. I've had religious leaders. I got an email not too long ago saying, Brandon, I've been hiding this for a long time. I don't want to lose my job, my family. And to me, that's why I wrote the book, Preaching Under the Influence, because I realized that this is not about me. And when I was putting the pen to the paper, I had to remove myself and say, if I can just help one person out there who's secretly battling addiction, they're afraid to say something, then the whole mission is complete. So it's really been inspirational well, here. In really Thank you. a super mission that yeah. you're on, and congratulations. Thank you. And if you're interested in reading more about Pastor Brandon's journey and his road to recovery, pick up a copy of Preaching Under the Influence wherever books are sold. And everyone is going home with a copy of Pastor's book personally autographed today. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so Dr. much. Thank you for having me.